Hey, I'm that guy who codes, and today we're going to be solving the diagonal difference problem from HackerRank. So let's get right into it and solve this. So the problem is defined as we have to take the sum of the first diagonal, so 1, 5, and 9, sum those together, then take the sum of the second diagonal, 9, 5, and 3 in this example, then take the difference of those sums, then take the absolute value of that difference. So in this example we get an answer of 2. Then to jump right into the code we don't really need to worry about the input format and constraints for this problem because the parsing functions will already be done for you at least if you pick C++ which is the language that I'm most comfortable in at this point in time. So this is all done for you this whole main function. So all you need to worry about is writing the diagonal difference function here. So the way that I've defined it now, I declare two variables, diagonal 1, diagonal 2, and then I iterate through the matrix, and then if it's in the first diagonal, I add it to diag 1, and if it's in the second diagonal, I add it into diagonal 2. And you can verify that these are the correct indices when you're iterating. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not terrible to kind of reason through how that is correct. So just to prove it to you, we'll move down here and hit submit code and it'll run for a little bit and we'll get some green check marks and feel happy about ourselves if it ever processes. Maybe. Here we go. So I passed all 11 test cases, but one thing that you might not um, know about this problem is that this solution is not the best solution because it runs slower. And why is that? Because we're checking more in entries in the matrix than we need to. So we're iterating through each entry in this matrix and checking if it's on a diagonal and then we're just skipping over it if it's not. So this is a lot of wasted space, especially if your matrix was a million by a million. You wouldn't get very good performance as far as runtime. So the formal definition of this is to say that it would be big O of n squared. And big O notation is basically just a measure of how fast your algorithm runs with respect to the input size. So. I'll link big O notation in the description. There's some good documentation on Wikipedia if you want to go read about it. But it's a kind of a bigger topic than I can explain in this video. So how do we make this algorithm better? Well, I have a better solution. And basically, we'll just we'll have one loop. And then we will only we'll take the diagonal 1 and the diagonal 2 at the same time. So we're going to go from 0 to the size, but then we can mess with these indices so that we know that this will be in diagonal 1 and then this will be in diagonal 2. And again, you can verify that this index is correct. It's a little bit weird, but again, I think you could figure it out if you reason through it. It's basically just taking the size and leveraging that to go backwards in the matrix instead of forwards. Anyway, now let's run this and verify that this is also correct. And then we can say that we solved the diagonal difference problem. This isn't a really that hard of a problem, but uh, it's a good start if you wanted to get started on Hacker Inc. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, Put them in the comments if you want me to do other problems or um, try out other technologies. Uh, feel free to let me know in the description. Thanks.